and thanks for joining me. I'm Maria Soreo. I am here today with the Peninsula Panther girls basketball team. Now, I came on the right day because the big game was last night. The girls here at Peninsula beat PV High. So let's meet the team and hear what they had to say about the big win. What made you choose basketball as the sport you wanted to play? I mean, I used to play volleyball, but then in middle school, but then I didn't really like it. And I chose basketball as my second sport. And I don't know, I just really liked it. It fit me better. So when, I tried soccer for a little, but I just, I couldn't work with just my feet and not using my hands. You guys seem like a really tight knit group. Do you guys hang out away from school? Tell me some other things you do that are not basketball related. Yeah, um, we do a lot of team bonding. Like during Christmas time, we had like a Christmas party at Jenna's house. And we hang out a lot. We go out to eat after games sometimes, and we hang out. We hang out a lot after school. Like we're really close, and that really shows on the court too. Like we trust each other. So you've had one coach then for a long time. What is kind of her main message to you guys? Okay, yeah. Like so, like I'm a center. So like one thing she always tells me is like butt to gut. Like when you box out. So like that's one thing I always I will never forget. Like butt to gut. When I was little, my cousins, my older cousins had played basketball in this recreational league. And so then some of my friends were putting a team together. So my mom and, or my parents, I guess, just put me in it. And I just stuck with it ever since. Did you ever try any other sport? Or? Um, I did karate for a little bit in middle school. And that's about it. Okay. What did you learn from karate that may help you with this game, do you think? Physically, I learned how to t like fall better. Yeah. Um, instead of just like flying backwards, I knew how to make sure to clench my teeth and like tuck my chin in so then I wouldn't hit my head on the ground. So, and, You know, this is, on top of being physical, basketball is a mental game as well. What do you sort of do to prepare mentally for a game? Um, I, everyone's a little bit different, but for me personally, I'm a little bit more like laid back and loose. So I kind of like to just be silly before the game. Um, you've had Coach Kelly then for four years of your high school. What are the words that you sort of hear in your sleep that she's always telling you? Um, she's always saying, play to each other's strengths. Being one of the veterans on this team as you are and a leader, you must have seen amazing growth over the last four years in yourself. What do you think, how have you grown the most? I think for me personally, it'd be adjusting. Um, my freshman year, I was a newbie, so um, I was always one of the smaller ones, and I didn't really know how to play with the team as much because everyone else had been playing together for at least a year. Um, and then as the years went on, I think I learned how to adjust to be having new people come on the team and like older people leave um, with the grades and such. So I think adjusting to our personnel. You have grown so much in four years. Tell me a little bit about kind of being a veteran on this team and what this has meant to you for four years of your high school career. Well, it's actually been really fun since like growing from freshman to senior. I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot of friendships throughout the years here. So I won't forget all those memories I made with most of my teammates. And what made you choose basketball as your sport? And did you ever play any other sports? I played, I tried a lot of sports out, but I think basketball stuck with me because you can do multiple things that rather than being good at one thing. How do you prepare mentally before you guys go out there and, and, and play a game? Uh, you always think that you're the better team no matter what in any situation that you can beat them. You just can't bring your own mental state down. You guys seem to be a really close-knit group and you talked about building friendships over the past four years. What do you guys do away f from basketball? Um, it just depends on what we want to do. We usually like have lunch as a group or we would go to the movies. Just do a lot of team bonding experience. That's what I think that's how our friendship's growing and how we're so connected. Okay. Well, I started playing when I was really young and I've just stuck with it ever since. What was it about the game that made you want to play? I like the competitive aspect of it and I've always been competitive since I was, I can't even remember how long, but yeah. Do you have brothers and sisters? Or? I don't. Just me, yeah. <laughs> so your biggest competition sometimes is yourself, right? For sure. <laughs> okay, um, give me a little overview of the team this year because it's, it's interesting for me coming here because I can really see the growth in you guys and you seem very tight-knit. Talk about the, some things that you do off the court as well together. We 
usually hang out every once in a while. We actually had a tournament in San Diego during winter break, so that brought us a lot closer. That helped a lot with the team dynamic. And then um, you beat PV yesterday, so <laughs> a huge goal. For, tell me what that was like at the end of that game yesterday. Oh, man, it was crazy. There was so much excitement. Everyone was yelling everywhere, and then even our zoo was going crazy. It was just amazing to feel. Yeah. And what is the big goal now for the rest of the year? We want to try to make it to CIF because our record right now isn't, it may not be the best, but we're trying to be, stay over 500 so we can get into CIF. What message does your coach kind of preach to you guys that you always remember in your head? She, she's a great coach, but she always tells us how like great we are as people, not only basketball players. She just has great, like just even her speeches before our game, she just lets us know that we're the best we can be. And yeah. Is it, it must be kind of a great feeling to know that you've had the same coach for the, all the years in high school. Yes, for sure. It's very comfortable at this point, yeah. Um, I was in basketball and soccer when I was really young. I wasn't very good at soccer, so um, basketball is my sport. How long did you stay with soccer? Soccer until like second grade. Okay, and then it was just moving on to just the sport. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what do you think it is about basketball that you liked better or competitive angle? What was it that made you stick with it all this time? Um, I had better friends on basketball, okay. and it was also more fun because I'm my feet coordination was not very good. <laughs> From season to season, what are some of the biggest adjustments that you've made in your own game? Um, definitely, like, knowing that I'm a shooter. Like, I guess on my other team, I wasn't that, like, I focused mostly on defense. But now coming into high school, I realized that offense is really more important. Not more important, but, like, important to my game. And um, you guys seem like you're such a, a tight-knit group. Tell me about the things you do away from here. Um, outside of basketball, uh, like during our tournaments away, we eat together. Um, before every home game, we eat lunch together. Um, we have like meatball sandwiches in the team room. And I think just like during school when we see each other, we're all friends. So we'll, like we'll say hi to each other. Um, you know, basketball is a physical game and a mental game. How do you sort of perp, like psych yourself up for the big games? Um, definitely, big games are like require more focus. Okay. So, like before the game, I just try to focus on the game because like my mind can go in like a million other directions. So just like consciously telling myself that this is what I'm focusing on right now really helps me. I don't like listen to music or anything. I just find that having like silence like in my own head is the best way for me. Why did you choose basketball as your sport and did you ever play any other sports? Um, yeah, I did actually, uh, I actually played volleyball for two years, but I didn't really find that as my passion and I grew up playing basketball. My dad played it, my older brother played it, so I was like, hey, might as well try it. And so, um, yeah, I grew up playing basketball and then there was a time where I started to lose that passion for basketball and I didn't want to play anymore. But then um, my dad took me six years ago to a PV Penn game, a girls varsity PV Penn game, and I was like, whoa, I want to be there at some someday. And so, um, yeah, here I am now and yeah, I found that passion again and yeah, I'm still playing. So. What do you think it was that got the passion back for you once you got back on the court? Um, it was just like the excitement and the intensity and like I saw how the girls were competitive yet they seemed to have fun. So that's what really struck me as, oh, I want to play again. So yeah, I want to be a part of that. Alright, so uh, let's just back up. Last night you guys beat PV. Just tell me a little bit about the excitement of that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of screaming. <laughs> I, um, I almost lost my voice. So um, yeah, it was just the amount of passion that the girls had and I felt even as they were playing was just like mouth dropping and you know and that really hyped me up and I was really excited oh my gosh we're winning oh my gosh and so yeah that's what just um, triggered like the excitement for me it was just like wow they're being so passionate they're fighting hard and you know, so. How do you kind of propel what you guys feel now into hopefully a playoff run? Um, it's just like the emotion that you feel. 
and you know you just kind of let that take over you and you know and then you use that emotion to motivate you to you know play hard and go after everything and you know be passionate about it because it seems like you know yes it's a physical game but mentally how do you you kind of prepare for a big game um personally i like to like but like hype music maybe okay. And, uh, you know, just kind of motivating, like complimenting each other, motivating each other as a team together. So that's what really helps, too. Well, when I was younger, both my parents didn't really play sport growing up, so I had to, like, try a bunch of sports. Well, I played soccer for one day. <laughs> as my little five, six-year-old, I was done with it already. Too much running. <laughs> so I stuck with basketball. I started when I was, like, five or six-year-old. I started in this league kind of called Double Dribble. And I actually met a lot of the people that I'm playing with here, so. What are the advantages to knowing people for a really long time and playing with them? Um, the friendships that really build and, I don't know, it's just now that I've seen them play before and then we came to high school, I know how they play. So I can like pass it a certain way. I know they'll get it on time. From somebody who's played a really long time, from year to year, what kind of adjustments do you work on your own game? Well, as you can see, I've had some health issues, so I've been trying to do some PT and making sure I'm strong. And then I know that I have a weaker left hand because I'm right-handed, so I make sure I always work on my left, stuff like that. And then, yes, physical game, but mentally you have to be tough too. How do you sort of prepare for a game? Mm, sometimes I just, I don't even talk to my friends sometimes. I just pay attention, focus, because there's normally a game before. Yeah. So I just focus on the game, and I think about what I have to do to be strong. What grade are you in? I'm 11th grade. Okay. So what's the message that Coach Kelly sort of implants in you guys? Well, we need to be mentally strong, and she says to us all the time, if we're scared, don't let anyone notice. <laughs> Fake it if you need to. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? Fake it till you make it, exactly. <laughs> my dad played basketball, so then that's why I started playing basketball, because I wanted to be like my dad. Okay. So I never really tried other sports. So, yeah, I've always been playing basketball. You know what, once you sort of got on the court and you were playing and not just watching, what did you like about the game that made you stick with it? I don't know, because when you're tall, you have, like, the advantage of catching rebounds, and, like, you just feel, like, special because... I don't really know how to explain it, but you have this whole different feeling on the court than you do off the court. <laughs> Your perspective is definitely different. Yeah, since they always told me when I was little, oh, you're tall, you must play basketball, and like, everybody must love you. It's like, it's funny. <laughs> okay, so you've been playing a long time. From season to season, what do you work on specifically in your own game? Um, a lot of post moves and stuff, because when you're a tall player, they tend to go harder on you, so... You just got, and also um, being strong, because when you're a tall player, it's always like you have to be. I'm oh, sorry, they have practice. <laughs> okay. So um, I think confidence and definitely skills in general. Okay. And then I was asking some of the girls mentally before a game. What do you do to sort of mentally prepare? I listen to music, kind of zone out, so I'm not panicking too much. Okay. So then music kind of just gets me in a relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kind of a big game last night. Congratulations. Um, how do you sort of propel that emotion into playoffs? I hope we do as well in playoffs because last night we played with a lot of energy and a lot of passion. So hopefully we'll take that, we'll take that with us to playoffs. And I couldn't play last night because I was injured, but just watching from the bench, it was, it was a great game. <laughs> yeah. And then um, goals for this team for the rest of the year are? Um, keep on working because, you know, I love the game. So college basketball may be an option. So I'm going to work at it and try to get as good as I can because scouts, I need to. <laughs> yeah. How many hours do you spend working on basketball then along with schoolwork? <laughs> Um, it's like two, we have practice six days a week and two hours every day, so, so like 12 hours every week, but it's worth it. It's, it's fun to come and hang out with the girls every day, so. We are very young and we're not that experienced. My most experienced player, uh, Jenna, she's my captain, she was on, um, she's been on all four years. She's the only player on this team that's gone to playoffs, so um, she's the most experienced player, but they're very young, very green. Um, they appear close because they actually are very close. They are probably one of the, they are 
a really nice group of girls. They really like being around each other, like genuinely just enjoy each other, and they're just so nice as, a, as just a group and individually. How important is that? It's, it's very important, and it's, it's a lot of fun to be around them and coach them because they really do support each other, and they want each other to do well, and they want each other to be successful, which, I mean, on a team, that's not always easy to have all the individuals come together like that, and they just they really look out for each other, and they, um, they're really close. I got recruited onto the team this year, so I didn't necessarily choose it, but I'm glad that I'm on the team. Um, Kevin and Camelia both recruited me, so I was like, why not? Um, but yes, I have played other sports. I've played soccer, and um, I played basketball for a couple other seasons, but I'm also a dancer. Okay, wow. So what do you think dancing brings to the court to help you with basketball? Um, it helps me with footwork because you have to be fast and um, turning, like fast changing direction. So that helps. What was it about this sport, especially this season, that made you want to stick with it? This is a huge commitment. Um, well, I really wanted to be a part of a team. Um, we just moved here and I was part of a crew, a dance crew in Texas where we just moved from. And so I was just missing all of my crew a lot. And so I wanted to be on another team and ha just have the camaraderie of a team. And so when Camelia and Kevin were kind of like recruiting me, like, hey, you're tall, you should play basketball. I was like, well, yeah, why not? I'll give it a try. And I just really love the friendships. So, okay, big game last night. You guys beat this huge rival, but not being from here, could you feel that energy anyway or? Oh, completely. It was so much fun. I, um, I, you could totally feel it. There were so many people in the stands yelling. Um, I had a sore throat and a headache from last night. I was yelling so much. And uh, my teammates, when I was on the bench watching, um, I, was, I kept grabbing their hands because I was so excited every time a shot went up and there were little fingerprints on their arms. <laughs> and I said, well, you're just the one who happened to be blessed to be sitting next to me this night. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> but yeah, it was really great. My, um, one of my friends in my first period today was like, so how was it, your first PV Pen game? And I was like, it was great. There was so much just enthusiasm and support and it was just a great feeling. What's the message that your coach sort of implants in you guys? Um, oh, she says a lot of things a lot, so I have to think. Um, she wants she wants us to just depend on each other and work as a team and to have that trust built um, so we can trust each other on the court. But she also, um, she always tells the centers to be more physical and to just um, make the moves and be strong in the paint. And uh, mentally for you, um, what do you sort of do, do like prior to a game to get ready? Oh, um, I do listen to music sometimes. That helps a lot. Um, I do, especially when I'm nervous for a game, I do pray before and I'm just like, oh, God, please help me just focus. Um, and I just kind of, I talk to my mom and my dad a lot. They help me, like, get prepared and know what I have to do. And... Um, I just try to think about it and just like focus and keep thinking about what I have to do and everything. I've been playing basketball since I was in kindergarten and I started because my brother played and then so did my dad so it's kind of just like a family thing. You know, what did you learn from having a brother, older brother then? Um, what did you learn the most from him because he was already playing? Um, I think the main thing was having fun and meeting new friends. And like while having these friends, you're enjoying like a sport that you want to play and everything. Did you ever try any other sports? No, I did not. My dad wanted me to try softball, but I just didn't get to it. <laughs> what is it about this sport that you loved to stick with it? Um, I think the main thing is friends, and a lot of my friends play basketball too. What is the message or messages that your coach kind of imparts on you guys? She always tells us to have fun but play hard and to always do our best and she knows what we're capable of doing so we just have to do that on the court. Is there any one thing in particular that you kind of tend to work on in your own game from year to year or? Um, I always try to like work on my shot a lot or attack mainly and 
play like good defense and everything. Okay. So I'm um, kind of a big game last night. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that game last night. Well, it was a very stressful game, but it was very fun. It was nice like going there and winning on their home court especially. How do you guys kind of propel all that energy now into playoffs? I think with the win on PV, it kind of motivates us to beat the other teams that they also have beat. So, um, Tell me how long you've been playing basketball, why you chose it as your sport. Um, I've been playing basketball since kindergarten. Um, I didn't really choose it. My parents kind of chose it for me. So, yeah. Did, did you ever want to play any other sports, or did you play other sports too? Or? Um, I used to play soccer, but um, I don't know why I quit, but I did. But you, obviously you've stuck with this one. What is it about this game that you have found your niche in? Uh, it's really fun playing with a bunch of different people. And on this team, everyone's really nice. So it's really fun to play with them. Okay. What do you sort of work on from year to year, have to, having been somebody who's played a really long time in your own game? Um, I don't really know. It's just, just trying to get better every year. So it varies every year. What's the message that your coach sort of tries to implant in all you guys? Um, she always tries to have us play hard and hustle. Yeah, just play hard. Okay. All right, so big win last night against PV. Um, w the rest of the season, what are the goals for the team now? Um, well, we're just going to try and beat them again next time and um, do as best as we can in the next games. I've been playing for seven years, so I didn't really choose it, though my parents chose it for me, but I I still love it, so <laughs> that's what I was gonna say, what, when you first started playing, what was it about the game that you decided, I really, really like this? Okay, probably um, the competition, and now high school, the crowds get so big, so that's exciting, too. Yeah, it's different than other sports. Did you ever try any other sports, too, or? Yeah, last year I was in cross country, and I was also, I also played soccer before that. Not as fun as basketball, or? Yeah, it wasn't, cross country was a little bit too much running for me, and then, I don't know, this one, just the um, atmosphere is so much fun. Just being in a team versus cross country, it's it's really fun. It, it seems like you guys are a pretty tight-knit group. Tell me about what you do away from basketball. Uh, we, um, me individually, or the team? Uh, we go out to eat a lot after the games or tournaments, away tournaments. We just had our, um, f uh, um, tournament in San Diego, and we didn't do that last year, so that was really fun. Yeah, there's a lot of team bonding in that. Very cool. So speaking of team bonding, last night you beat PV. What was that atmosphere like? It was crazy. I don't, that was, <laughs> I still like, I st I'm still so excited from that. But it was really nice to win in front of such a huge crowd and like with all the support that they gave us last night. How do you mentally sort of calm down for a game like that, or do not? Um... I don't know. I guess I just try to tune everything out and take a lot of deep breaths during the game. <laughs> what advice does your coach give you? Um, just don't think about your mistakes. There's a lot that she gives us. But, um, yeah, don't think about your mistakes is the one that talk, that speaks to me the most, I think. I've been playing basketball since third grade, and I decided to play basketball because I think it's an exciting and fast-paced sport. And did your parents get you into it, or friends, or something on your own? Um, my friend invited me on her team, and I've been playing ever since. And then, um, did you try any other sports, and if so, which ones? Um, I actually started tennis in, like, third grade as well. And I played a little bit of softball, but basketball was the one that I really liked, so I decided to stick with that. <laughs> was there anything in particular about basketball that made you say, this is the one I'm sticking with? I like, like that it's a team sport because the other sports that I played were also team sports, but basketball, like, you really get to bond with your teammates, and it's a good experience. You know what? Talk about that, just about the stuff you guys do away from basketball. Right. So, like, after games and stuff, we'll go to eat dinner or, like, we'll just hang out together, and it's just, like, a really fun, like, friend group that we have now. Okay, so you're new here for, the, for high school. Big, huge game yesterday against PV. What was that like to beat them? Um, it was very exciting because we haven't beat them in two years, I think. So, yeah, it was like there was a lot of adrenaline and there were fans that came to watch. So it was really exciting. What's the message or messages that your coach sort of imparts on you guys? 
Our coach always makes sure to let us know that we are who we believe we are. So she wants to make sure that we don't think of ourselves as any less than we are. So like before games, she'll get like pep us up and stuff and tell us that we're better and that, yeah, we, <laughs> we can win. Um, I've been playing since I was six years old. And I chose it just because, you know, my family was into it, more on my uh, mom's side, and so we just decided to try it out, and I've loved it ever since. What do you think it was about the game itself? When we first tried it, you were like, I'm, I'm doing this. Yeah, well, at first, it was just more for fun, and because my dad was like an assistant coach, so that was fun, but then I ended up, you know, loving it just for like how competitive it was and just like getting to be a part of a team. And then um, this has been a really great season for you guys. Huge win last night against PV. What was that like being in that atmosphere yesterday? Oh, it was crazy with all the people, you know, screaming and supporting. And it's just like I've never really felt that before. But I thought that was really fun and exciting and like the adrenaline and everything. It was really cool. It kind of pepped me up. <laughs> yeah. What's the message that your coach kind of imparts on you guys? Um, just, you know, to work hard, work as a team, you know, like keep each other up is like the most important message, I think. And to, yeah, just like look, know everybody's um, strengths and how we can build upon that. You guys are a very tight-knit group. What do you do away from basketball together? Um, well, we've had like team bonding and sometimes we would go out to eat, uh, but mostly uh, we went to San Diego for a trip and that was fun because it was more focused, I think, on team bonding and we got to just do a bunch of activities outside. Um, and yeah, that was really fun. Okay. And then, um, obviously, it's a team sport, but what do you work on individually in your own game to get a little better? Um, I kind of just work on, you know, what I can contribute to the team, but like as myself, you know, like anything that I could do better, um, maybe hustling more for the ball or, you know, driving in more and being stronger. Do you have a uh, pregame routine that you go through mentally? Not really. I just kind of, you know, calm myself down, um, you know, because I get really nervous. And then I just, um, yeah, I just focus on what I have to remember during the game and to always, you know, be focused and know, like, who you have to watch out for and what you have to do, yeah. Favorite NBA or WNBA player and why? Um, I think my favorite NBA player is Russell Westbrook, and it always has been. I think because, like, his motivation and his, like, determination to play every game the same way with all his heart and everything. They're not doing very well, but the Lakers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Diana Taurasi and... Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, like those are my favorite teams. Um, Houston Rockets, Clippers, yeah, like, yeah, all of them. I grew up watching the Lakers, so it's it's just a childhood thing. So yeah, Kobe Kobe was my favorite player. Watching growing up, so. I'd have to say the Lakers. I'm an LA person. <laughs> I've loved Kobe, even though he's retired. Yeah, my family, we've always been been a Laker fan. And so I really liked Kyle Kuzma coming out. Um, my favorite NBA player is DeAndre Jordan from the Clippers. And yeah, he's a center like me. And I don't know, I just love him. Like, he's getting better at free throws. <laughs> and I would say either Chris Paul or Kevin Durant is one of my favorite players. Nice. I like to watch the Warriors. I've been a big fan of them. Um, uh, WNBA, the Sparks. DT Diana Taraza. Yeah, she committed another four years, I think, to that team, so it's going to be fun watching her throughout. So I like Steph Curry. I like him a lot. I mean, I like him because he's an awesome player, but I also like him because he is a Christian too, so that is really awesome, and I like his shoes that he put the verse on it, so um, I just like him and what he stands for. And that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much to the Lady Panther basketball team for spending some time with us, and of course, congrats on the big win last night against PV. Join us on our next show when I will introduce to you the boys' varsity basketball team right here at Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time.